Hi everyone, Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sat in an Audi e-tron Sportback and next to me is an old Audi Q7 V12 TDI. Yes, it's a diesel. Now the idea behind this race is to show just how fast these latest electric cars are compared to internal combustion engines. You see, back in the day, that was mental. I actually went on the launch of that car in 2009. It has a six litre V12 diesel with 500 horsepower and 1,000 newton meters of torque, which is nuts. Six speed automatic gearbox, all wheel drive. Back in 2009, it cost 100,000 pounds. That one is from Audi's heritage fleet. So it's about 40 grand. This e-tron Sportback, however, will cost you £80,000. Quite a lot, isn't it? It has two electric motors, one at the front, one at the back. Combined, you have 405 horsepower and 664 newton meters of torque. It's quite heavy. It weighs 2.4 tonnes. That weighs 2.6 tonnes. So it could be a very close race. This will get off the line very, very well. I'm not sure how that will get off the line. Let's see if its driver's confident. Hello, driver of the Audi Q7 V12 TDI. Are you confident that you're going to be able to launch it? Hello, Matthew. Um, firstly, this car's pretty old. Secondly, it's got a white cream interior, yet I've got two brown seat covers. And thirdly, the centre console looks like it belongs in a boat, because it's like wood effect. What have you put me in? <laughs> well, the whole idea of this is to compare like a modern electric car to an older performance car with an internal combustion engine. And I know like a Q7 isn't seen as a performance car, but that back in the day was insane with its six litre V12 diesel if you say so. It's nice, I'm just not feeling the colour. It feels very old in here, if I'm honest. Well, I suppose, internal combustion engine, old technology to go with the old interior. Let's see what happens though. You got it in its sporty settings? Sport and dynamic, Lego. I've got mine in dynamic and sport handling mode. Sport handling mode. <clears throat> Let's see what happens. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Let's do a sound check. Can you rev your engine? Let's have a listen to it. Yeah, opening the window ain't going to help you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's right. <laughs> it's actually not that rattly for a diesel. It's quite smooth. It's funny because it's a V12. This, obviously, there's no noise. Just the sound of silence. The sound. Silence. Anyway, before we get on with the race, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. Also, if you're looking out to buy a new car, click on the pop-out banner up there to go to CarWow, where me and my team are there to help you choose the right car for you and to see how much money you can save on a new car. If you want to do that later, just Google Help Me Car Wow and we'll do the same thing. Okay, let's get on with the race. Place your bets in the comments below. Are you going to vote for the internal combustion engine or the electric motor? Actually, if you're thinking, it's not that quiet in here, Matt, I can hear some hissing. It's the air conditioning, I'll just turn it off. And there we go. The sound of silence right before a drag race. It's odd. Hello? Yeah, you're ready to go, mate. Oh, for sake. Slow, but still fast. That thing's kicking out a load of smoke. I was rubbish at reacting. Oh, he's not catching me. Sometimes old is better. I held it on the brake and it just didn't go very well. Old is golden. Is that what they say? Old is gold. Old is gold. I know I always have to do it again when I don't win, but... It didn't pick up very well. I held it on the brake and I think that scuppered it. I think I just need to... Floor it like that. Can we go again, please? Of course, that did seem really slow. Three, two, one. Add him off the line there. Oh, this is interesting. Ah, uh, and now I'm dropping him. Oh, I can see his face on. Yeah, my start was delayed, but you still pulled away from me, let's be honest. That's the way you launch this. That's the way you do it. I tell you what, you gave me another go. To be fair, best two out of three. 
Let's do it. All right then, best two out of three. This is the decider. Come on, Etron. <sighs> Come on, reaction time. Yes, I'm ready. Electric power for the win. A delay, man. Ta da! There you go. Definite win for the e-tron. You just gotta know how to launch it properly. And when you do, it does its thing. So, then what exactly happened? Well, the e-tron won with a standing quarter mile time of 13.5 seconds. Meanwhile, the Q7 took. 14.1 seconds. Now we have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. He's in comfort mode. I'm in efficiency mode. That might affect me a little bit, but let's just do it anyway. Three, two, one, go. I'll oh, just take off, even though I'm being efficient. <laughs> wow. I can see the delay in his gearbox. Oh, what's happening now? Just seeing the sights. Oh dear. Nice sights here. Are you going to come past me? Oh, actually, I didn't even realise. Oh no, he's coming. <laughs> come on, baby, 130. 120's, oh, it came past me when I was doing 120. Woohoo, see? Stalled it. 140, 145, 150. You can stop. Why have you gone all the way up there? I got to 150. And even with your wing mirrors, I wouldn't be able to see you. <laughs> now we're gonna have another rolling race, but this time I'm in dynamic mode. He's in second gear, manual, in dynamic mode as well. And we're gonna do it from 30 miles an hour. So like you're in town, then you suddenly need to zip off of the dual carriageway. Let's see which is the quickest. Three, two, one, go. Ooh. I can see that just drop as it changes gear, then pick back up again, then drop. Yeah, gear changing is slow on this. Where is he? Yeah, I ain't catching him now. I can't see, these wing mirrors are rubbish. Can I move it? Keep going, keep going, don't stop, don't stop. I might want to stop when I run out. Oh! Same thing again, 120 miles an hour. You know, as I'm slowing down now, I'm actually recouping lost energy and putting it back into my battery so I can go a little bit further. That's so efficient. Oh, it is so efficient. What do you think of the engine in that? Do you like it? No. I don't like this car at all. I was never a Q7 fan, and this is not a nice example of one, I'm, I'm honest with you. It's got V12, a six litre V12 diesel. It's very unusual. That's great, but unusual doesn't make it good. The only V12s you like are in Lamborghinis, aren't they? Ta-da! Although Ferrari makes better V12s. Who? <laughs> now we have a brake test. <laughs> 70 miles an hour, when we reach the line, Full emergency stop. You got some impressive brakes on that car. Your brakes look very nice as well, mate, in orange. And I'll be regaining energy when I'm braking as well. So being eco-friendly while coming to a halt, hopefully quicker than you do. Anyway, here's the line. Brake. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh. That is close. I just about won that. You did, you did, you did. I've also got added smugness from the whole regen thing and that I'm being slightly eco-friendly. I feel warm and fuzzy inside. Why I still have a full tank of fuel. Yeah, I need to go to a charging station. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. <laughs> if you did, please give it a like and let me know some of the videos you'd like to see in the comments below. I've actually found a really good deal on either an e-tron, this e-tron, or a brand new Q7 over at CarWow. If you want to see what car that amazing deal's on and how much it is, click on the pop-out banner up there to go to CarWow to check it out. And as ever, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you will not miss a single upload. And finally, why don't you follow us on Instagram, CarWow, simple. Follow us there, loads of behind the scenes footage and stuff like that. And of course, if you want to check out Yanni, it's Yanni Mize. You can follow him, the link's in the description below. 
That's his YouTube channel. He's also all over Instagram and some other social media platforms as well, of course. Thanks for watching. <laughs> 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 uh, just a calm. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Good, good. Good, good. That's your radio, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, cool. Yeah, cool.